Hi, this is Journey Mike Grab. I'm coming to you from Chicago, as usual. And today we've got a fun little one. It's Ernie Trutelgate number three. Uh, I also want to point out I got this fancy pin here. It's from the California Highway Patrol. Thank you. That's from Katie Hawk. You might recognize her from the comments. I'm not pulling a Jeremy DeWitt on you here. It's not real. I'm not really part of the California Highway Patrol. It is cool. <laughs> I didn't go through the academy and I haven't been on a motorcycle in 25 years. Let's do it. Lest any think I'm not here on time and before. This is what I stand on. You're on time. Thank you. Oh, Ernie's at it again. He shows up to court and sets up his legal standing outside the room. And here we go. Come on, girls. Feel my standing. <laughs> yep, Ernie's got his hat. He's got his Ace Hardware garage sale sign, and he's brought a copy of the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Bible. I don't know what all else is in there. <laughs> Probably Black's Law Dictionary. That'll do. Just the basics. Oh, yeah. Equity, <clears throat> law, and... And the... Where are you from? Come on. Don't worry about it. 20 maxims. Okay, well. This is my standing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastical equitus dead center and in constitution. And we'll see if they defy and deny all three. <coughs> I, I don't know why it's just in his socks. I, I, it'd be, <sighs> it'd be better for the shoes. That's kind of nice. How you doing? Holding the line? I am now officially retired, by the way, so... Well, congratulations, you made it I before this center implodes. a while back, and they, they, they threatened me with 10 days in jail, and I said, well, I can spend 10 days in jail reading my Bible. And, yep. And a $100 fine they threatened me with, and I said, well, I probably got that in pocket change down in my sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie's like, hey, you know, I'm doing my, my standing shtick right now. I don't want to hear about this. <laughs> So they postponed it. Actually, they delayed it. Can we see your sign, honey? I don't know. You watched the sign there for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're witnessing is the Montana natural man at his best. Appreciate your support, you guys. Well, I have to maintain my standing here. I still <laughs> been needing to uh, ask Stormy, I think maybe I'll get, ask him when I get a chance why she ordered sheriff deputies to do an intimidation drive by. Oh. I see a sheriff deputy <laughs> in, in my property about, oh, about once every three or four years in my subdivision. And Stormy, the last incident I had with her, she ordered him to do drive by really we couldn't take care of that before we started filming oh as i was seeing sheriff deputies driving by my house about five six times a day that's why the county commissioners had to get rid of her because she was costing the county too much money. spend thrift trust that means that uh, <clears throat> something has to be created and then labeled a trust once the something called statutes, codes, acts of war, whatever you want to label it, is created and put in the entrusted form, then the trust creators appoint trustees, beneficiaries, and executors. 
but it does nobody any good. There's nothing to be gained from the trust until money is put into the trust. And because the need to uh, print money exists, or the need to generate revenue, create money exists, the need of room to keep it in the revenue stream, to keep moving on, moving on, so that more and more room is made, arises so that those who appear to be in official position and you would think be fiscally responsible are actually charged with being fiscally irresponsible and in hidden and subreptious means cause the dischargement of as much financial loss as they possibly can. That is called a spendthrift trust and it is in Black's Fifth Law Dictionary 1975 publication. I have researched it in depth. That is Oh, Lord. Here, here he cites Black's Law Dictionary. And Ernie, I hate to tell you, brother, but it's really hard to take you seriously while you're standing on books in your socks. What corporations are. They are spendthrifts. This municipality is a corporation. It's never been a lawful American town. Uh, because as a part of Montana, which has been denied state standing as constitutionally recognized forever since day one, and was arisen as a corporation as a result, never was an organic de jure state. Everything within this trust called Montana could therefore only be uh, corporate under the spendthrift. So there's never been any constitutional standing. There's never been ecclesiastical standing. There's never been even equity upheld. Everything is defied, denied, and defiled by this uh, United States Corporation and all of its elements. Nevertheless, it is incumbent upon the Americans who once were known for fearlessness of taking their stand to do so again, to rise up on behalf of the people who were being plundered absolutely everywhere on the face of the earth by the United States Corporation and all of its jillions of uh, facets. So here I am. It's got to be right at 9 o'clock. I've made my presence known. The appearance of a private meeting was going on inside. You are the witnesses. I have no was made of my presence here. We'll see if this door opens or not. Here between my feet lies the corridor that I cannot approach a bar. Stormy said her bar started right here at her door. So I cannot approach that bar, thus my standing. And here I stand. And until we have clarification of jurisdictional standing, which it is she's going to exercise today, the language necessary will not be known. We'll see if we gain that uh, clarification or if it'll be another uh, marshmallow job. Uh, real big problem with this scenario is you're, you're not attending your hearing. So uh, the judge has opened to them to just say, okay, one of two things. One, you're in contempt for not coming in also blocking uh, the, the entrance and egress of the courtroom. In addition, they, they could just uh, they could just say, okay, call your case with the door closed there. You don't respond, issue a bench warrant, and, and have the bailiff come out and uh, put the cuffs on you. Remember that all esquires are forbidden. That is the title of nobility forbidden in the Constitution which uh, I just got a really interesting book from the Montana Law Library that is titled Closing the Courthouse Doors, How Your Constitutional Rights Became un Unenforceable. Now, why would the Montana Law Library have a book like that <laughs> in it? Doesn't that seem completely contrary to Article 6, which says clearly that all judges in all states and territories are bound to the 1789 Constitution and that anything found in the constitutions or laws of any states that are contrary to that binding tie of Article 6 do not have standing, notwithstanding. <laughs> so we're going to find out. He's got a theme. The games begin. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How I are cannot you? approach a bar by your own writ, so I'm as close as I can get. Okay. This is my standing. I stand on ecclesiastical platform with equity for the balance, 1789 Constitution for the other division. What is your jurisdiction? 
Are you a war court? I am not a war court, Mr. Trogate. I have jurisdiction by the state. No, you don't. Um, there's never been, been a charged state. with. Stormy, there's never been a state. There's only been a court. Oh, right here. It's it's kind of cute. They're, they're they're sort of having fun with it. They again, they can just close this down immediately. But I think this is the judge. I I only hear on the other side and he starts with this nonsense uh she comes out and and uh and goes along with this to some extent it must it must not be a very busy courtroom great yep yep show me in history where there's been a long time so mr Mr. Turgut, you were arrested your jurisdiction is, i board. absolutely challenge his jurisdiction and you are now required to cease and desist on the spot and, and don't get evidence validity of it no contract I won't work with you because you are unconstitutional in a corporation that has never been a constitutionally recognized state. Will you let me finish? And I cannot cross this bar. That's fine. Will you let me finish? Speak away. Thank you. Mr. You were given a citation for driving while suspended and obstructing the Driving is a commercial word. Mr. Turtle, are you going to let me finish? You don't know what you're saying because you don't know your own terminology. I'm trying to save you from yourself, Stormy. Mr. Turtle, you talk away. Thank You're you. sinking your own ship. Thank you. Um, after reviewing the information, there was no probable cause for the obstruction charge, so that will be dismissed. There was probable cause for the driving suspended. Do you wish to plead guilty or not guilty? No man who is not a bar member can plead. Do you not know your own so black law dictionary? So I will enter a plea of not guilty. Nope. Would you like an attorney? If you enter anything, you will be impersonating me. Do you know what that'll get you? That's a hundred thousand dollar fine and twenty years federal stormy. It's in your right. own black space so law. I will enter that plea for no you attorney. and appoint no, no lawyer. Okay. And it goes if you're gonna do and this go if you're gonna do this, we're gonna go straight to a trial by a jury of my peers okay. who comprehend That's these fine. elements. That's fine. So watch your mail for your next court date, Mr. Turnigate. Okay? You have well, there you have it. Uh, the judge actually gave him a lot of deference in, in not just closing him down from the, from there, but it does make sense. I actually kind of liked the way she handled it. She could have just held him in contempt or, or issued a bench warrant for him and, and, and had them go out and arrest him. She she plays along a little bit, but having having said that, she's not putting up with any of his nonsense. She, she's just reading him the charge and you know, and it's completely not, not guilty for him. All this over driving while suspended. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.